everyone, welcome to another Fill of Learning video with me, Misty, and Pig and Roo. So you want to know about halving and doubling, do you? Let's get started then. We're going to begin with a problem. Here we've got four cookies, but they all belong to Roo. And as you can imagine, Pig is not very happy. There are two things we can do to solve this problem. We could halve the amount we already have, or we could double the amount we already have. Let's start with halving. When we are halving, we are sharing our total equally between two groups. That means we're gonna share out these cookies equally between Roo and Pig. Okay, I'll just get my wand then. Ready? Now Roo's got two and Pig's got two. So how do we write this as a number sentence? Well, we start off with four and then we shared them equally between two people. So we divided by two and then each person ended up with two. So four divided by two equals two. That means that halving is the same as dividing by two. What's that Roo? Oh, Roo's not very happy because now she's ended up with less cookies than she started with. Well, that is what happens when you do division, Roo. You always end up with a smaller number. Okay, how can we solve that problem? I know, let's try doubling. Right, we're back to Roo having four cookies and Grumpy, I mean Pig, having no cookies. This time we're gonna double. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have twice the amount of cookies as we started with. Ready? Pig, how many do you have? Four. Roo, four. They both have four. So how many cookies do we have all together then? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we've got eight cookies, but we only started with four. How do we write that as a number sentence? Well, we started with four and then we multiplied by two because we ended up with two lots of four. And how many did we have all together? We had eight. So four times two equals eight. That must mean that doubling is the same as multiplying by two. They're looking much happier now. That should keep them quiet for a bit. Let's look at another example, six. And let's represent this with six stars. I'm gonna start by halving. And I know that means the same as dividing by two. So let's share my six stars between two equal groups. I can see that there are three in each group. So now we write that as a number sentence, six, divided by two equals three. So that means I've halved the number six. Great. Let's stick with the number three and this time we're going to double it. That means I need two lots of three, which I know is the same as multiplying by two. Now I've got six. So three times two is six. That means that double three is six. Do you notice anything about these number sentences, Roo? Oh, you're right. They've got the same numbers. They're just in different places. That's because doubling and halving have a very special relationship. They're opposites. Yes, Roo, a little bit like you and Pig. It's a little bit like tying your shoelaces and untying your shoelaces. One undoes the other. Doubling makes the number two times bigger and halving makes the number two times smaller. Your turn now. I've got here five sheep. Now I've got 10 sheep. Have I doubled or have I halved the amount of sheep I started with? Either tell the screen or an adult. Pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's take a look at this one together. I started with five. I then had two lots of five and I ended up with 10. That means that I did five multiplied by two equals 10. 
So I've doubled my number. I've made it twice as big. Your turn again. Right, this time I'm starting with 12. And now I've got six. Have I doubled or have I halved? Welcome back. Yes, you're absolutely right. I have halved my number. I have done 12 divided by two equals six. This time, we're gonna start with just the problem and work out the whole thing. So this says, what is half of 16? Rue, I might need your help on this one. Where should we begin? Rue says we should write out the number sentence. Okay, so if we're halving, that's the same as dividing by two. So we're starting with 16, and we're dividing by two. How do I do that, Rue? Ah, you're right. We share between two equal groups, okay? How many have I got in each group? I've got eight in each group. Is that my answer then, Rue? Yes, it is. 16 divided by two equals eight, which also means half of 16 is eight. Hi pig, have you finished all your cookies? You finished them in one bite? Wow, impressive. Wait, hang on, what have you been doing all this time? Okay pig, I think you need to do some work now. You can help me with this next problem. It says, what is double 12? What do you think we need to do pig? Pig says that we need to divide 12 by two. Do you agree with Pig or do you disagree with Pig? Tell the screen or an adult. Pause the video now. Welcome back. I have to say Pig, I'm afraid I disagree with you on this one, but mistakes is how we learn, so it's okay. When we're doubling, what we actually need to do is multiply by two. So let's write our number sentence. 12 multiplied by two. Okay, now we need to work it out. So we need two lots of 12 and then we count how many we've got all together. Ready? Okay, now we can count. We've got 24 all together. So 12 multiplied by two is 24. That means that double 12 is 24. I have here a piece of maths homework that one of my students gave me. Unfortunately, pigs spilled milk on it. So now we're missing part of the homework. So we're gonna have to fill it in for them. It says something doubled is 14. How can we work this out? Well, luckily we know that doubling and halving are the opposites, one undoes the other. So in order to work this out, all we need to do is halve 14. Okay, so let's divide 14 by two because that's halving. 14 divided by two is seven. That must mean that seven doubled is 14. Oh, thank goodness we can save this piece of homework. Now it's your turn to have a go at home. You're gonna need something you can use as counters. Whatever you've got, Lego, blocks, pencils, jigsaw pieces, it doesn't really matter. Here are some problems for you to solve. Be careful though, is it asking you to double or halve? Welcome back. I'm gonna put the answers up on the screen now so that you can see how you did. Remember, don't worry if you didn't get them all right first time, it just means you're on your learning journey. So, double 10 is 20, half of 18 is nine, and this one was really sneaky because you actually had to halve it to find the answer. Half of four equals two, which means double two equals four. What a brilliant bunch you are. Yes, you're brilliant too. We can't wait to see you next time. Bye for now.